persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? Shut up, bitch! The Batmobile. One of the most famous cars in all of fiction. The Batmobile is a staple in every piece of Batman media. Whenever a new thing is announced, two things are on everyone's mind. What does the suit look like? He's just standing there. Menacingly! And what does the Batmobile look like? I mean, look at this thing! This shit's got missiles, it's got rocket launchers, it's built like a tank, it can burst through walls, it's bulletproof, it's got its own built-in security system, it's got an eject button for when Harley Quinn farts. Case in point, the Batmobile is awesome. But not every Batmobile is equal. Some of them are absolute dog shit. So, here's my top 10 list of Batmobiles. Number 10, the Batmobile from Batman Forever. This shit ugly as hell. Why is there a fin at the top? And what's with all the blue? And the Bat logo on the wheels? Man, just throw the whole thing away. If I ever find one of these lying around again, I swear to fucking God, I will stop being so polite. Number nine, the Batmobile from Batman and Robin. Now this one's not as bad as the last one, but again, what's with all the blue? <laughs> It looks like a toy, and it's dumb. Number eight, the 1960s Batmobile. It's not that bad, honestly. Looks kind of cozy, but I wouldn't want to bring it into battle. Overall, though, it's not that bad. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Number seven, the Batmobile from Batman the Animated Series. Now, I know people love this one, but I don't really see it. It's just a really long car. It's a very cool long car, but it's still just a long car. That's quite big. Number six, the Michael Keaton Batmobile from Batman 89. Now this is where it gets good. It's still a long car, but the design makes it much better. I actually saw this Batmobile when I was in Washington DC a couple of years ago. Number five, the Batmobile from The Batman, the most recent one on this list. This one has one of the coolest action scenes in any of these movies. But it's still just a normal looking car though. Number four, the Lego Batman Batmobile. Now I unironically think this is the best Batman movie. Batman, what are you doing? Doing your mind? But the Batmobile isn't the best. Now it's still cool. It can turn into a jet and it has rocket boosters. But it's still just a bunch of Legos. And in case you haven't heard, Legos hurt. Daddy. Number three, the Dark Knight Trilogy Batmobile. I love this one because it's a literal tank. Like there's no sugarcoating it. It's just a tank. You can't hurt this thing, and if you do, it just launches out a motorcycle. Legalize nuclear bombs. Number two, the Arkham Knight Batmobile. Now this is so close to being perfect. It's built like a tank and like a car, but it's still too bulky for my taste. Um, excuse me, what's the actual fuck? Number one, the DCEU Batmobile. Now this is perfection. It's built like a tank and a car while still being sleek. It has all the weapons and it's just as awesome. So yeah, this is the best Batmobile. No competition. Thanks for letting me steal several minutes of your time. If you want to see more of these, please like and subscribe and hit the bell. That really mean a lot to me. Thanks. Funny guy!